now we going to start with the sorting algorithms now here comes the first thing that is going to be learning as bubble sort so what does this algorithm means a sorting algorithm that compares two adjacent elements and swap them until they are sorted order so what we going to do is here you can see that you know this array is given and we going to compare adjacent element and we will get it to the correct position so the bubble sort algorithm works by repeatedly swapping adjacent element if they are in the wrong order so in each pass the largest element bubbles up to its correct position at the end of the array so here you can see there will be no swap between 2 and 45 so 2 and 45 remains at the same position 0 11 9 and after that 45 and 0 is checked so is 0 is, is lesser yes it's going to be lesser so it came to the first position now 45 jumps over here 45 11 it is for 11 lesser yes 11 jumps over here and 45 minus 9 yes minus 9 jumps over here and similarly it will be keep on swapping until unless we get the desired output right we're going to write it in for loop and that's going to happen i'll understand each and everything how it is done so we're going to for this what are you going to do we're going to jump to the vs code and we'll see one by one how does bubble sort works thank you now here we're going to create a name as bubble sort dot java all right here we're going to do the sorting bubble sort so this is the bubble sort class i'm going to write what public static void and in this what i'm going to write is main method and in this main method i'll pass string of array and args all right now inside this what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the array int array of nums let's say i want to take some array values a uh, 5 comma 3 comma 8 comma unsorted array basically we are now doing sorting we are not searching we are over with the searching we did lots of problems now we are moving forward with the sorting how to sort it now i'll call the bubble sort bubble sort function so i have to create the bubble sort function also here i'm going to pass i'm going to pass the array over here now i'm going to do what i'm going to system dot out dot print ln i'm going to take and here i'm going to say that sorted array sorted array is going to be what okay i have to remove one colon from here okay not colon double inverted so sorted array is going to be what it's going to be we write a for loop okay do one thing so we're going to not write the traditional for loop we're going to write the for each loop let's see for every num variable in the num array we're going to print the num system dot out dot print ln and we're going to write what num plus we're going to give some space right so this is something like you know for int i equals to zero i less than nums dot length and i plus uh, plus plus and you're going to print array like nums of i right so that is exactly same thing as this is we're writing in for each loop okay if you want to apply in that way also that is completely fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a stat here i'll create the function that is bubble sort and in bubble sort function we already know what is going to happen bubble sort we're going to swap it again and again with the adjacent element and to find we need to know that how what is adjacent element and how to swap it that is the part we have to do okay this is we have declared now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take n and that i'm going to declare as this is the size all right norms dot length is going to be the length okay this is defined the size now i want to write a for loop we have to write two for loop we have to go from one by one all right whichever is sorted right so that i have to do so i'll write a for loop and in that for loop what i'm going to do is i'm going to write int i equals to zero i less than n minus one till that will be running and i plus plus and inside this for loop i am going to write the again one for loop int j equals to zero j less than what i'm writing c n minus i minus one i could have written n minus one also 
but there is no need i'll explain this why we don't need i'll write j plus plus let me write the code and i'll explain the last okay so here we're going to do if we're going to check the adjacent element if nums of let's say j if nums of j is greater than nums of j plus one then we have to swap it it means that is in the wrong position right because we are doing in so we need to swap it we are doing in ascending order right swap the elements okay how to swap it you already know we're going to write int temp equals to num of j let's say nums of j and after that nums of j is going to be equal to what nums of j plus one and nums of j plus one we're going to get back from where the temp variable all right this is the whole swapping part and it's all done also now one question is why i am writing n minus i minus one so okay i have to remove this p where did this come came from so question is this I could have written n minus one instead of this uh, i i minus one so i am reducing the iterations so in each pass of the outer loop in each pass of the outer loop the largest element is unsorted position of the array that bubbles up to the end therefore after first pass the largest element will be at the index n minus one if largest element at the position n minus one that means that is in the sorted position so let's see in the second pass the largest element already in the correct position at the end so there is no need to include in the inner loop so that's why i am decreasing minus i initially zero so zero will be decreased then one two three similarly in the third pass the two largest element is already in the correct position so at the end so they are excluded from the inner loop so if i exclude that way i can reduce some amount of complexities all right that's why i am writing minus i because at the last those are going to be in the correct position those are in the ordered position that's why if i don't take it and don't you know make them sorted then it's okay all right that's why i am reducing to minus i all right so this is all about i'll hit control s i'll click over run and i'll see if this array gets sorted or not so sorted array is going to give the sorted okay it's print ln i'm writing i should write print because ln is going to come to the next line every every time so five three four is going to going to give the enter every time so i have to remove the ln from here if i remove ln that will be in the same line see you see one two three four is coming so if i remove ln from here and i'll hit control s and now i run this code so it should come in the same so it should look like you know array is let's wait for the output it's taking time okay so it is i have to remove this ln also because i am giving Control S. Now I will run this again. We have to get it in the same line. That is our aim. So let's get it. Okay, we got the in the same line. So sorted array is this is the sorted array. So next up, we're going to see the next sorting algorithm. Right. Thank you.